Carlin here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It's so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I'm going to make a centerpiece for my TV credenza. And I'm going to be using those open lanterns that I got from Walmart and some florals and I'm going to build it in a tray with a couple of bunnies that I found at and uh, Pictures to change into different picture frames. And I'm gonna put this little centerpiece together. So we'll see how it goes, I don't know. Never done this before with these open lanterns. So I'll be right back when I'm ready to get started. I hope y'all are doing all right on this fine day. <laughs> all right, let me turn my camera around and we'll get started. Okie dokie everybody, I'm back. And here's the tray that I'm going to use. This is an old tray, and you pro for those of you who've been with me for a while, you've probably seen it before. And I'm not crazy about the bottom of the tray, the design in the bottom of the tray, but I do love the cream, and it's gonna blend beautifully in with the table runner that I have on the credenza. So, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little placemat down in here, which as you know is what I use for my doilies and what will be on the end tables out there in the family room. Now, you probably won't even be able to see this when the decor is all placed in here, but this works for me in two ways. Not only does it cover up that lovely black, but it also helps the decor that I put in not slip and slide around all that much. Even though the accent pieces that I put around this will help hold it in, I still like to have a little bit of something, something extra in there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place these two lanterns where I want them. And I was in a bit of a conundrum because I wanna lift up one of these candles. I didn't buy a taller candle, I just bought two of the, what are these, four inch candles. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue dot well, first thing I'm gonna do is put this in because I've got to set my mouth right to get it in there. There we go. And now I'm gonna put a few glue dots around that and then I'm gonna put my candle on it. And that way my candle will be lifted up and there'll be decor around it. So you're not really gonna be able to see that little ramekin. That's an old hen workshops ramekin. So I'm just gonna put a few glue dots on here just to hold this candle in, sh in place. Candle's not going anywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in this little lantern. Okay, the first thing I have are some pip berries. My one lone pip berry garland that I have left, and this thing is ancient, you guys. Let me run over here so on the table. Hang on, I'll be right back. Here we go. I have used this in many, many, many centerpieces, lantern centerpieces. But for this purpose, I'm just going to weave it in and around here just to have some pip berries peeking up through the decor. Anyway, I'm just bending it and putting it in there, flouncing it up as much as it'll flounce up. It's not, <laughs> not the best of things here but I wanted a little something, I wanted it. I wanted it in this, this centerpiece. Kind of wrapping it around the front of that lantern just to hold it in place there. Kind of letting it flounce over the sides a little bit. Okay. I want to place these two bunnies next. I got these two bunnies at and that, and they were $4.99 a piece. So if I 
I would put one kind of right there. this too. I don't know whether I'll use it. So the next thing I want to do is is really just fill in with some of uh, these green kind of faux uh, lamb's ear looking tufts. First thing I want to do, I do have a bit of a lamb's ear garland here. I want to take it around this the bottom of this candle to hide that candle ring. Or the hide that ramic enemy. Sorry. Kind of make a bit of a candle ring just kind of bring it back here. And through. No big deal, just because I have a, a bit of a garland left. That's all I have left, so I'm not gonna, I'm not sure if this will pair. Yeah, I think it will, it'll pair fine with it. So now let me add some more of this in. That kind of helped me give me a give me something to lift this up with. I'm not even sure how much of the lamb's ear you'll be able to see when I'm done. So I'm just going to start filling in with this greenery here a little bit. Kind of making my way across the tray. Again, I'm not a professional decorator. So I just do what I think looks pretty. And I don't want it solid full of this stuff, you know? I don't want it to be like completely covered. And I'm just gonna use this one tuff. some of these succulents left and I hadn't used them in the living room. I thought, well, why don't I? They kind of pair nicely with this, you know? Four of them. I went on to that lantern. of corally pink roses. Yeah, 
and I have some cream here too. Look at this pretty peony here. Look at that. That is such a pretty flower. I just got quiet on you, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I'm just gonna put a little cream flower down here at this bunny's, right in front of the bunny. Okay, I'm liking it. And then I have some of these flouncy things. Let me see. These kind of pull the pink and the coral together, you know? As you can see, I'm pointing everything. This is actually gonna sit in the middle of the table, but I am pointing everything kind of that way. I don't know why, it just makes my eyes happy. I don't know that I like these. I may not add these. I'm not thinking, I'm thinking I don't like them. I might just leave it as is. <laughs> In fact, I think I really like this as is. Got some more of these. Hip berries. Turn it around here and look. And it might need something right there, but other than that, I think it looks really pretty, just like that. Again, soft, simple, and pretty. I like it. I love it, except for right there. I'm gonna see if I can find something that I can put right there. Be right back. Okay, I found some of these. I found these at uh, Joann's last week. I think I just wanna very simply just kind of fill in there, just so you don't really see the, the stalk. And then I just brought a couple more just to add in, just to pull them down in this area. Just a little something. Again, I'm no professional. I do not claim to be a professional, never have, but I do know what I like to look at, you know. There we go, that's it for this one. All right, I'll be back later and we'll put together the top of my credenza, all right? Loving this. All right, be right back. piece on the credenza and I put my daughter's pictures on either side and I added a few other things so I'm getting ready to take you out there and just do a video right down the credenza to music but I thought I would come here and say my final goodbyes to you guys
<laughs> Thank you all for stopping in again. I appreciate this. And I'm just a zipping on through my house and you can kind of get a flavor of the color of the house behind me. I will, you know, reveal everything in my home tour and my spring home tour that'll be coming up in a couple of weeks probably or so I'm not sure depending on how long it takes me to finish all my little vignettes and lanterns and whatever else so but I did want to kind of give you a little sneak peek there <laughs> so let me just say I hope that all is well with everyone and that for those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around. And I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. So with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.